Okay, moving along one more step. Now it's getting a bit busy, you would imagine. Um, they've now added in the research questions into that, into that mix. I'm kind of skipping one, just for the sake of time. There was one previous one where they expanded some of the bits and pieces. But if you look at the content now, there's a little bit more drawn from the theory in terms of definition. And throughout that, they're saying we're going to look at the various types, the three research themes. The first one is education decisions, and they're looking at conventional alternative assessment. So they've got three questions, each one addressing one of those purposes. So question 1.1 is linking up to the particular purpose of determining achievement, etc., etc. And there's that alignment again. Even though this is less tight than a theory-driven one, it's, it's showing the links, and I think that's really, really critical. Um, and then the other research theme goes down below. And so you've got three broad research themes with a number of questions. It's quite intricate. Quite often one would argue that you, too many questions makes it kind of too many all over the places. But, but this is this particular study and how it was represented. Okay. So, concluding remarks. You'll be relieved to hear. Very often, in this particular case, they did, did a lot of work in terms of uh, previous literature. A number of studies that have made strong use of a conceptual framework in the development of the actual study have proven successful. It just kind of pulls things together. One of the key things, we had a, a grant proposal uh, writing workshop, and someone said, what is the key problem with these grant proposals? And they said, alignment. And we had submitted our research proposals. And very often, it's alignment. The things kind of don't really link. There's a theory that's sort of brought in for cosmetic purposes, perhaps, sitting there. And then there's some questions. And then there's a questionnaire which talks to something else. So this alignment thing is, is, is critical. And they're saying that the success is because the conceptual framework aligns quite well. So the challenge to you as either doing research, wherever you are, or in your, in your various studies, is take what you're doing now, imagine that your supervisor has changed, and draw a little conceptual framework of what you're actually doing. What does your thing look like? And have it on one page. Limit yourself to a page. And, 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 and use that as your moving point to move along. Very often people say, well, so what are you studying? And then you kind of get into a whole pile of words that sort of, if you could pull out a picture and say, well, actually, I've got a picture of this, I've got a map. Okay, and then evolve it throughout your study. Okay, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I've just about made my time.